have to say, through all my fears of clowns and men attached to tires, the Twisted Metal series is great therapy. Twisted Metal 2 is the kind of game where most of us as kids would just pick it up and sit in front of our TV screens for hours with our friends, just beating the crap out of each other with vehicles until we won. Released in 1996, this car combat game leaves you right where the first Twisted Metal left you off. But for those of you who have never played a Twisted Metal game before, basically the plot behind it is, there's a man named Calypso. He wasn't always evil, but after a car accident and trading souls to some people, he emerges with his name and decides to run the Twisted Metal tournament. And in return for participating, the winner of this gets one wish granted. I face a dilemma. Where will this year's Twisted Metal contest take place? 14 of the world's best combat drivers have already been chosen, ready to battle to the death in hopes of becoming the victor and claiming whatever prize their brave hearts desire. You can actually watch a cutscene, though, in your options menu that will explain Calypso's plan in this game. Now, the graphics in this game are that of a PlayStation 1, and that means that the textures of the world are pretty simple and fuzzy, but I could honestly care less when I'm playing because I'm just trying to survive and win. Just like any other game of its kind, your objective is to basically drive around and destroy the other players. However, there are different modes in this. In tournament mode, you follow the storyline and more of the story gets unraveled as you clear more of the areas. You choose your player and I usually play as Twister. And no, not because her name's also Amanda, but because her special is probably one of my favorites in the game. I also really enjoyed matches that Sweet Tooth himself would pop up in. Sweet Tooth is probably one of my favorite creations in video game history, and I feel like he's the icing on the cake for this title. Each character you can play as, though, has their own unique special, and you can use that simply by hitting the correct trigger as you get closer to any enemy. Now, I don't want to spoil the game for you, but if you pick this title up and try and play as every character, it's really worth it because each has its own ending and they're must-sees. In Twisted Metal 2, the items you pick up are also very important. Health is obviously the most important because if you run out, you die. But I'm talking about the item pickups that give you weapons to blow things up. Some of my personal faves are the power rockets and lightning, but most of the time, I wait for my special and just watch as my enemy spins around me to their doom. Another mode to try in this game is challenge mode, and this is where you're still required to achieve the goal of destruction upon the other players, but instead you can choose your enemies that you want to take out and the level that you play on. This is also the same goal in the two-player mode. The two-player function was probably the most enjoyable about this game. Single player is fun, but when you have a friend by your side in a game like this, it really gets the value out of the game. Twisted Metal 2 was later on released as a greatest hit, which is no less than the truth. And as of today, it's currently available on a local PlayStation network near you for download.